after the whole kissing incident happened with Betsy, it's been kind of weird. I was concerned what might transpire. She, she could turn the whole unit against me in a heartbeat if she wanted to. That's, that's nerve wracking. So Betsy was called out uh, to get released. Getting close with Betsy was my greatest opportunity to get the type of information that I, I was wanting in the jail. So with Betsy leaving, I'm going to be losing a major player in my investigation. So I already knew today was gonna to be a bad day, waking up and seeing that Miss Richardson was the SEAL that was on duty. Her nickname in the unit is Screaming Demon. Make sure everybody's behind a locked door before you let her out. One of our lockdown inmates in there, Ashley Caswell, she was yelling and screaming out of her cell at Miss Richardson. You gotta help me! And this is a pretty normal occurrence with Miss Richardson and Caswell. They don't like one another. Miss Richardson takes away Caswell's free time and she leaves her in her cell all day long. That alone is gonna amp you up. Ms. Richardson should be the one calming it down and de-escalating it. She does not. Uh, so Ms. Richardson pops Ashley's cell door to come down and get her meds. And at that point, I'm like, wait, uh, this is this is going to go bad. I just want to know why you took my room. Go to your cell. I didn't do nothing. And it's on. She comes down like a bat out of hell. I ain't going to do nothing, so I ain't worried. She was throwing garbage, trays, juice. This incident completely was provoked and instigated by Ms. Richardson. So the next day comes and you know we see Ms. Richardson's on duty and we're just hoping it's over with. Again, pill pass happens. And I knew this is really going to be bad. Thank you. Uh, can I go slide? No, you cannot. I'm going in here with Neil. <laughs> Almost carbon copy of the day before. She goes even more crazy, throwing anything she can get her hands on. It's out of control right now. Saad comes in. It's deja vu to the day before, and it was predictable. You knew it was going to happen. I'm not scared. And then, not even like 10 minutes after that, Ms. Richardson has to serve dinner to her. The cell doors pop and it's on. The trustees went in and they had the jug of juice and they had some cleaner. And uh, they went in Caswell cell and they actually dumped the juice on her bed, soaking all of her stuff in juice and then threw bleach at her. Just looking at some of the inmates who were out, who were looking over at the incident, their faces were shock. This is just, this is bad. I wasn't sure exactly what was going on. I'm surprised that she's still even here. Oh my gosh, do you see what has happened? Uh -huh. We don't know if she was asked to or she's quitting. They fired 
me because they said I did a wrong, proper use of force. But I was doing what my sergeant asked me to tell me to do. The whole situation is messed up.